Um, wait, I thought that we should enjoy a 180 days free commission. Why there are some other fifth showing here? Thanks for a community viewer asked about how to check the commission and other fee when we make a transaction using Futu Mumu platform. In this video, I will demonstrate on how to check the commission and the fee before and after we make the transaction. I will be using mobile apps for the demonstration on how to check the commission and fee after the transaction. On the home page, Click Me. Under the Trading Account section, click Fund Details. It is in between Currencies Exchange and Statement. Then, you may select which margin account to look at. By default, it will show SG Margin Account. Click on it. Then, we can select US or Hong Kong Margin Account. Click on the US Margin Account. You will be able to view all the platform fees transactions, dividend receipt, and other transactions. You can see that there is a stock buying fee and stock sell fee being charged. Let us click into the stock buy fee. It will list down all the fee involved such as platform usage fee, GST. The commission is zero. The total cost is $1.07. If we click into the stock sell fee, there are two additional fee of SEC fee and TAF. The total cost is $1.09. In addition, we can also check the dividend received as well as the dividend withholding tax. Non-US residents are subjected to a dividend tax rate of 30% on dividends paid out by US company. Thus, 30% of $0.22 cent is around $0.07. Cents. This is the dividend VIX holding test by the Apple. This is how we can check the fee after the transaction. However, as on 28th of May, the detailed charges for every trade and statement is only available in mobile apps and not on desktop apps. Um, wait, I thought that we should enjoy a 180 days free commission. Why there are some other fees showing here? Let us double check again and understand the Futumumu fee structure. First, let us move to Futumumu promotional page. Let us scroll down. At number 3 here, it clearly states that 180 days of unlimited commission free trades. But if we further scroll down and check the fine print, well, fine print again, it does mention. Others' fees and GST may still apply. For more information, please refer to fee schedule. Let us click into it and have a check. At the column on our left hand side, we could select the market that we are interested in. In this case, let me click into the US market. Next, click US stocks and ETF. There are three types of fee here. The first one is commission. And this is the one with after the free commission period, we will be charged minimally USD 0.99 plus 0.07. The total cost is $1.07 per transaction. If we further scroll down, the next one is platform fee. We will be charged at a minimum of USD $1 plus 7 cents of GST per order. The total cost is $1.07 as shown in my previous transaction. If we further scroll down, the next one is regulatory fee. The settlement fee is waived during the promotional period. SEC and trading activity fee are charged at $0.01 cent per order for selling only. Thus, I was charged USD $1.07 platform fee plus GST plus additional of $0.01 cent of SEC fee and TAF fee of one cent as well, a total of USD one dollar and nine cents for selling the stock. The platform fee is charged to help Futumumu to make their platform better. 
Here is a summary for the minimal fee charged during and after the promotional period. Compared to TD Ameritrade with zero transaction fee for stock buying and selling, the route trip for Futumumu is considered expensive. It is around $4.28 per route trip. The route trip is around $2.16 during the promotional period. However, as Futumumu, it's much easier for me to deposit and withdraw the money out without any additional fee. I will stick to Futumumu for my long-term investing account as my transaction is minimal. By contrast, Fire transfer is the only way for us to withdraw the money out from TD Ameritrade and it costs USD $25 per transaction. For the trader who makes transactions more frequent, I would recommend a platform such as Interactive Broker or TD Ameritrade with much lower fee. We can also check the full to fee structure on the mobile apps here. First, click Me, then click All. Under the fee section, we can see there is a full to fee icon. Click on it. Then we can view the platform fee, commission fee, and the regulatory fee here on the mobile apps. That is all for this part. Next, what if the amount of stocks transacted is above the minimum value? It will be troublesome to calculate ourselves on the fee incurred. In this case, we can use the fee calculator instead. On the mobile apps, first, click me, click all. Under the fee sections, click calculate commission to use the calculator. Then we can select either Hong Kong stock or US stock. In this case, let me use US stock as an example. The first one is commission free. If you are still in the commission free promotional period, please click yes. If not, then click no. For my case, I'm still enjoying the commission-free promotion period, so I will click yes at this moment. Use Snap as my example. Then let's say the price is $62 and I want to buy one share. Then I can just click calculate. Then here, it will show the commission, platform fee, settlement fee, SEC fee, and the trading fee also the GST for this trade. The total cost of buying is $1.07 and the total cost of selling is $1.09. Basically, these two values are the minimal charges for these transactions. Next, let us see the fee that will be incurred after the promotional period. The first one, we will click no on the commission free. The stock, let's use Snap as an example again. The price $62, quantity is 1, then just click calculate. So in this case, the total cost of buying is $2.13. The total cost of selling is $2.15. We can also see that the GST is $0.14. Cents. This is because it combined the GST from the commission and platform fee. If we study the full to fee structure again, basically, as long as the shares that we purchase or sales are below 200 shares, the commission will be fixed at 99 cents plus GST. Let us use this example again. Snap. If we purchase 200 shares, we can see that the commission are basically still the same as we purchase one share. The SEC fee and trading activity fee will be increasing slightly. The settlement fee will be increasing as well. However, these are still considered minimal. Lastly, let us see if we purchase more than 200 shares. For example, uh, using Snap as example again. In this case, let me key in 500 shares. In this case, the commission charge will be based on the fee structure. The total cost of buying is $6.8 and the total cost of selling is $7.02. One round trip is around $14. Therefore, as long as the number of shares that you purchase is below 200 shares, your commission basically is quite low at $0.99. Cents. 
That is all for this part. Let's talk about Futu Mumu support. I would say that Futu Mumu has one of the best online and live support to us. Thus far, they respond to all my queries professionally. Even my request was made at a very weird timing, 12 a.m. or 11 p.m. To be honest, Futu Mumu give me the best experience in customer support thus far for all the platforms that I am using. There are a few ways to reach the support. First, via Facebook Messenger. Simply go to their page, Mumu, click message. Then we can start to ask the question. However, please take note that they are unable to disclose account related information on Facebook due to the privacy concerns. Instead, we could email them at clientservice at foo2sg.com. We can also reach them via mobile apps by following these steps. First, click me, click help center. Then these are some of the frequent asked questions and the answer that we can find easily here. If you want to check with them, we can click online service. After that, we could just type our queries here and they will respond to us. That is all for this part. Here are the summary for the operation shown in this video for your reference. I hope this video could help you understand more on the full tool fee structure and how we check them. What are the other operations or tutorial that you would like me to demo for you? Let me know in the comment. Before you go, please give me a like too. Have a great day and see you in the next video.